Sean Jennings, uh, Instagram at Defcom Bricks. 2013 Toyota Tacoma, crew cab, four wheel drive. It's on plus two long travel, total chaos suspension with Fox coilovers and bypass. Originally wanted to build the truck to go on expeditions, um, sometimes with the family for two or three days at a time, camping. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit longer by myself, you know, a week or two. But basically wanted to be able to get into, get into a location safely and get back out safely. In one piece, reliability is key and that's why I chose Toyota. So kind of moving forward, um, at night, lights, Baja designs, recovery, the winch is the Warren Zeon 10S, Factor 55 Fairlead and Thimble. The, uh, went with the TRD Pro Grill, just for the aggressive look. Not everything has to be custom. The headlights, I actually had Rechelon Aesthetics do out of Portland, and they have the halos, really bright at night, but I also had them do camo on the inside. Uh, it's a multi-cam black, a uh, new one that came out. As far as the tires go, this is actually the second set of Toyos, the RTs that I've had. At the last set, I put about 30,000 miles on, and they still had 70% tread when I when I took them off, which seriously shocked me. Um, so I'm a believer in that tire. I went with the Stealth Custom Series Matte Bronze 17 inch, it's their F5 version for the wheel. I really wanted that just to give it a new look, something fresh. I just love that dark matte bronze on the actual black paint. The flares, they're actually bushwhacker flares that have trimmed three inches in order to fit a, a big 35 inch tire on only a three inch of lift. So I do a cab mount chop as well. But so this is all trimmed up. When it's all tucked up, I mean, I'm just right there, right there on the money. I guess moving back. Oh, we missed, the, we missed one of my favorite pieces. The Pelfrey built front bumper. This Pelfrey built bumper, you can see all the wings. It matches up all the lines of it. Wings up here, all these extra little bins. It's the aluminum bumper, so it's only 50 pounds. Inside of it, yeah, the Baja lights. And I use Pelfrey built armor underneath all the way. And it's all aluminum skid plates underneath. I try to stay away from rocks, but I'm still protected in case I do hit them. There's uh, the Pelfrey built rock sliders as well. My wife likes to use them as a step, so I put on some grip tape uh, just, to, just to, so she wouldn't slide off of them. I guess we move right up top here. Front runner outfitters roof racks. Um, got the Max Tracks for recovery. Baja Designs dual function light. Um, all my Rotapax cans up here. Moving on the back too. More storage for front runner. We got lights on the side. Some people think, you know, why lights on the side? and. Someone else had actually mentioned this to me, I think I saw it on the forums, where they're like, you know, I put lights on the side, just so when I'm driving through, you know, off-road or somewhere, the kids in the back, they can see what's out the window because we're so focused on what's in front of us, we forget that whoever's with us, they look out the side windows. So I'm like, all right, adding some, adding some rear lights. If we go on the inside here, I apologize, this is a storage facility right now at this show, but, uh, you can see I've got my switches for the ARB air compressor, the front and rear lockers, bully dog tuner. Got a, a touchscreen S pod in there, which controls all my lights. Installed a, uh, a VHF radio from Rugged Radios, actually inside the dash there by the, the shift knob. Try to do a little flush, flush install. Up on the top are some of the patches that I've kind of collected through different events and different different brands you know that I've, that I've ran into. Because I do like to have a little bit of music when I go to the gym, I had a, a sub box built um, using all Rockford Fosgate components and also that fiberglass box was built by Sound Warehouse over in Salt Lake City. Pretty fun. The seats are heated and cooled, um, cat skin leather. Um, so it's got three levels of heat, three levels of cool, which I use that cool year round. It's amazing. Uh, the rear suspension, I've got a Pelfrey built shock relocation kit with the, the Fox DSC extended length shocks on it. If you move on to the back here, Pelfrey built high clearance rear bumper. So again, I decided to, to trim the sides off and that way I can actually have the protection all the way to the front as opposed to just having the protection from the rear back. Back here, the truck vault. So typically in this one here, I'll put the rifles on this side, 
So these two, com two compartments I put the rifles on. Usually I have my ammo and everything. I usually put a hatchet here, my, my full length ax in here. Um, and then just kind of catch all ammo and everything else. This side is where I usually put my tool bag, some catch all areas, some straps, hammock. I usually keep all my ARB recovery gear in the back here because I try not to have to use it very often. <laughs> But when I do, it is there nice and safe. This is an, it's an all weather truck vault here. So it's all Linex, um, keeps everything dust proof, secure. I mean, it's the same stuff government and law enforcement use. So I figured I couldn't go wrong with that. On this other side, I put the uh, ARB air compressor and it's, a, it's the dual, dual compressor. So I can just plug in, air my tires, run some air tools, whatever I need to do. High lift up on top. And then on the inside here, um, got the fridge for, you know, keep the, keep the drinks cold, keep the kid happy. And then there's a cargo glide in the back. So I can access, access my gear, 100% extension, instead of having to lean inside and grab something from there. The, uh, the ARE shell, it's a Z series. So it keeps everything tight. Just super clean on the body lines with it. Just a really big fan of, of this shell. It's, it's been a lifesaver, especially in Utah, where we get a lot of, a lot of winters, you know, uh, a lot of rain, a lot of snow. So it keeps my stroller dry. <laughs> um, one of my favorite options right here is the, the Yeti bottle opener. It's the little things that make the biggest difference, I think. <laughs> I think, oh, CVT awning. Another thing we got on this side. So it's a 55 inch awning. So it goes same length as the actual bed. So it'll come out here, keep everything dry. I've got a mesh room that zips around it as well. We, we use that for my kid. We put his little um, play pin inside there, keep the mosquitoes off of him when we're camping. And now that he's a little bit older, he's two and a half now, he, uh, now he thinks it's his fort. So he just runs in there and he thinks he's hidden from everybody. It's awesome. So if nothing else, it's pure entertainment for my son. <laughs> but, uh, oh. One more thing here we got. So we just installed this yesterday. It's ARB's new snorkel for the second gen Tacoma. I hear they're in transit from Australia right now, but I'm just super, super stoked. I've been waiting a year for this, for this thing to get released. And it's finally here. You can still see metal shavings from where I installed it yesterday. And there you have it. Thanks for watching this 2015 SEMA video. We're going to be posting videos just like this one all month long. So be sure to subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all things SEMA 2015.